tournament and it would keep their season alive for at least one more night. DU is a lock for the NCAA tournament. They would need to win to solidify their place as a number one seed. The Huskies 16th in the pairwise. That means it's do or die for the team in black tonight. St. Cloud State, number 17 in the nation. Number three in the NCHC going up against the two seed DU, who currently sits third in the go. And they are on the puck now. Cooper Wiley in the back of the net! This kid's as cool a cat as you're going to see for a younger player in this conference. He just sits back and waits, and then he snaps one through. Key to this whole play is he gave himself some space to play with. St. Cloud State went to work on the forecheck, picked it up, didn't dust it, let it ride, and he put pushed back in that second game. That was 3-2 late. David Carl told us this week it was good for his team to face a little adversity as Z. Booyam comes in as silky and as smooth as it gets. Oh, there's no disco music playing, but he pushed, certainly put his dancing shoes on. Look at this, little shimmy sham. Gets to the net and puts it far side. He's been doing this all year, whether it be with Denver, with Team USA at the World Juniors. Nobody slides in and slashes into these areas and with control of the puck like he can, and he finishes it off. Unbelievable. Ronnie Adder was tremendous. Scott Perunovic was in his own world in this conference. One of Hobie, of course, Perunovic a couple of seasons ago. St. Cloud State strikes right back. Nick Ports finding the back of the Huskies. 2-1 our new score. Now you see why coaches are emphasizing face-offs the highest point of emphasis in their off-season meetings. St. Cloud wins this one clean. It's the old Mike Bossy play. Put an off winger on the wall, draw it back, scramble, take off, and fire it. And St. Cloud executes it to perfection. They have done it on a number of occasions. Here is McCade Webster now, the senior captain gaining the zone. We'll shovel it over in the direction of Aiden Thompson. Comes back to Webster, jams in front, and in! The captain with the equalizer! Well, Denver gains the zone. Then they go to work down low. Webster gets it back. Watch sick. Now watch him back up. The score. He doesn't turn forward. He doesn't front. He uses his body to protect the puck. He puts the big truck in reverse. And he slapped it by Posh. That's a little leaky on the part of Posh. Not going to lie. That has absolutely got to get stopped. But the bottom line. Be back to Lidke. St. Cloud State trying to build from the back and the long stretch pass finds Okabe, the assistant captain to Werner Mietnin. In front, Adam Ingram! St. Cloud State with the answer once again. Special, and it's the play by Okabe that you're going to see. 14 in black, watch him. Gets pinched, moves the puck down low, and now look at the presence that St. Cloud shows offensively with Werner Mietnin just waiting, waiting, waiting. Hey, where's Big Bro? There he is. Oh, no, not Big Bro. That was Anhorn. Younger brother, Zeeb will fire. Shot blocked. Fair at all. Or excuse me, Tyson Gross getting in the way. The one-timer by Manica finds the back of the net. Electric. When I tell you, those offensive zone stick penalties have a funny way of coming back to burn you just by karma. Denver moves the puck around. It's a great job by Manica. When the puck goes to the wall, watch Manica in the bumper spot get himself turned around. Bumper guys tend to play a lot between the hash marks, but Manica pops out in open space, and that thing was gone almost by the time it. Call right now at six foot 170. Won a small school state title in Minnesota with Gentry Academy. His team on the attack, and Horn. Barrett there! It's the BMXer, Barrett Hall on the back door! All right, first one to 10 wins. Boy, did St. Cloud State get their motor going on this one. They face off, possession undetermined. They get a planning at the puck back, and then they go to work to the front of the net. They get a rebound, and Hall, who we just talked about, jumps into an open space. Great read by Ann Horn to get a puck through. Nice little tip and play as they try to set up Kuka. And Hall is able to be there, Johnny, on the spot. St. Cloud State once again with numbers. This season in Denver. 
Here is Thompson. Which on a whistle popped to one of the funnier lines of the year. I'll tell you in a second. <laughs> Shai Booyum. Deflected in. Manica in front. The second of the night. For That's the kick of a short St. Cloud didn't need. But this is Denver playing a lot outside the dogs. Once again, St. Cloud is now starting to chase all over the ice. They get worn down and it allows Denver, with so much going on up high, to sneak into the slot area, and Madigan gets a stick on one and tips it home. What a job by Denver. A lot of high rolls, a lot of play above the tops of the circles. When Denver got their fourth goal, it was a perfect example of a lot of what they do, and a lot of coaches talked about how hard they are to defend that way. Oh, watch out now. Tyson Gross coming in. All off the post. A beautiful move on the backhand by the freshman. Right, the Burnsville native up top. Buckberger waiting. The freshman defenseman fires wide. On the doorstep that time was Lorenz. Loose puck, 10 to go. Right up top to Boston Buckberger. Five to play. In. Avoiding the check of Kupka, avoiding a second hit. Left the puck behind that time, but now gets it back. The freshman up to Z Fuyum. Booyum to the backhand, and in the back of the net! Denver marching on! Harris makes a big play here, and that's what they're looking for on the offside right over there as Booyum steps in. Booyum walked around the goaltender, Potch. It was the one time all night I really thought Potch just looked uncomfortable as he tried to follow Booyum. I